Assalamu alaikum everyone. In this video, I will demonstrate how to use the Analog Designer's toolbox to design a two-stage Miller op amp with the given specifications in just a couple of minutes. This is the interface of the ADT software. First, we need to load the pre-generated lookup tables based on the required specifications, one for the MOS and the other for the BMOS. Wait a couple of seconds to be loaded. Next, we move to the Design Database Generation tab. Here, you can choose between tens of different analog circuits and topologies. Now we need to design a voltage amplifier with a Miller condensation and with a BMOS input pair. Next, we can move to the design corners to edit it as required. C out and VDD. Also, we have the option to add as many corners as necessary. Now we can move to the degrees of freedom tab. It's required not to exceed a channel length of 500 nanometers for all the devices. Since we need a relatively high unity gain frequency, we will increase the value of the bias current. Regarding the compensation capacitance, we can begin the search at 20% of the C-out value. Finally, we can limit the current ratio not to be more than 5. Next, we move to the setting tab. I'm okay with generating 100,000 DDB points, then press Generate. With another couple of seconds to be generated and saved. Next, we move to the Design Cockpit and add the DDB file we just saved. Finally, we can edit the design specifications to fulfill our requirements. A DC gain of 60 dB, which is 1K, a unity gain frequency of 100 MHz, a minimum phase margin of 70 degrees. To minimize the power consumption as required, we send minimum current to tune. Now we have all the degrees of freedom values. By pressing update, we can see all the desired specs and transistor with this. Moreover, if we have a headroom for one spec like the UGF here and we need to minimize the power consumption, we can tune that in this window as well. This was how to design a two-stage Miller of AMP in just a couple of minutes using the Analog Designer's Toolbox. It's a fabulous tool, isn't it?